Now there will be some questions which are based on properties of binomial coefficients. So we will take up some series where we will need to use binomial coefficients property. Like say for example, the question is summation r varies from 0 to n minus 1 and that's ncr divided by ncr plus ncr plus 1. Now when I look at this expression, I know that here I can use the property where n is same and r differs by 1. So I can simply write it as so that's summation r varies from 0 to n minus 1 and that's ncr now it will be n plus 1 c r plus 1 so now I'll use the definition of ncr so I can write it as summation r varies from 0 to n minus 1 and here will be factorial n factorial r factorial n minus r and here I'll write it as factorial n plus 1 factorial r plus 1 and then again factorial n minus r. So I'll cancel this n minus r with n minus r. Now this factorial n and factorial n plus 1, I can cancel factorial n and for this factorial r and factorial r plus 1, I can cancel factorial r. So actually I'll write it as summation r varies from 0 to n minus 1 and there will be r plus 1 upon n plus 1. Now summation is in terms of r, not in terms of n. So I can actually take this n plus 1 out. So if I take it out, I can write it as 1 upon n plus 1. And then this summation starts from 0. And it goes all the way up to n minus 1. And it is r plus 1. And if I essentially look at this series, it is nothing but if I put r as 0, it is 1. So it is 1 plus 2 plus 3. And it goes up to when the value of r is n minus 1. So minus 1 and plus 1 will cancel. So it will be n. So sum of first n natural numbers, so it is n plus 1 and then n into n plus 1 by 2. So n plus 1 and n plus 1 will cancel. I'll get this result as n by 2. So in this question, we have used this binomial coefficient property, which is ncr plus ncr minus 1, and that's n plus 1 cr. Here the question is, find the sum to n terms of the series factorial n plus factorial n plus 1 by factorial 1 plus n plus 2 upon factorial 2 and then n plus n minus 1 upon factorial n minus 1. So what I'll do is, I'll take this factorial n common, so I can write it as factorial n, and here will be 1 plus n plus 1 factorial upon factorial n factorial 1, n plus 2 factorial upon factorial n factorial 2, and it'll continue up to n plus n minus 1 factorial upon factorial n factorial n minus 1. Now I can write 1 as m plus 1 c0 and here the second expression is nothing but m plus 1 c1. So I'll write it as m plus 1 c1. Second one will be m plus 2 c2. m plus 3 c3 and finally I'll get m plus n minus 1 c n minus 1. Now, if I look at first two terms, here n is same and r differs by 1. So, if I'll add them, I'll get it as n plus 2 c1. Now, here again, n is same, r differs by 1. So, I'll write it as n plus 3 c2. Now, again, n plus 4 c3. So, eventually, I'll get this result as factorial n because it's already there. It's being multiplied to every term. And then finally, I'll write it as m plus n c n minus 1. So I can also write it as factorial m factorial m plus n factorial n minus 1 and will be factorial m plus 1. So I can cancel factorial n. So I will write it as m plus n n minus 1 factorial into m plus 1. So let us take up another question and that is we need to simplify this given expression which is n c1 plus n plus 1 c2 n plus 2 c3 n plus m minus 1 cm and in the denominator also we have like similar kind of series right. So I'll take up the first series and which is n c1 plus n plus 1 c2 n plus 2 c3 and n plus m minus 1 cm. So I'll add n c0. And because I have added it, I have to subtract it also. So I will subtract nc0. Now if I look at these first two terms, 
So n same, r differs by 1. So I can write it as n plus 1 c1. Now here again n same, r differs by 1. So it'll be n plus 2 c2. If I'm going to carry out the operation for all the terms, then in the end I'll get n plus m cm minus 1. So for the series in the numerator, I'll get this result as n plus m cm minus 1 and the series in the denominator, it is same as series in the numerator. It's just that we have interchanged m and n. So I'll get the same result, but the res result here will be m plus n cm minus 1. Now what I know is nc are the same as nc n minus r. So essentially n plus mcm is same as m plus n c m. So basically these two terms, they're same. So they'll cancel out. So answer to this series is simply, or answer to this expression is simply one. Now we look at some of the questions related to the properties of binomial coefficient, which is n c r upon n c r minus one. And that is n minus r plus one upon r. Now in this case, I'll write the general term, which is k cube. And that's n c k upon n c k minus one. So what I know is, ncr upon ncr minus 1, I can write it as n minus k plus 1 upon k. So now square of that. So I'll need to square it. So I'll cancel this k square. So I'm left with k. So here will be k. And here I'll write it as n plus 1 minus k whole square. So it'll be k n plus 1 square plus k square minus 2 n plus 1 into k. So I'll multiply this k inside. So I'll write n plus 1 whole square into k plus k cube minus 2 n plus 1 into k square. Now I need to find sum of all these terms. So I'll take the summation. So sum of first n terms is simply summation k varies from 1 to n and that should be n plus 1 square k plus k cube minus 2 n plus 1 into k square. So that is n plus 1 square n n plus 1 by 2 summation k cube simply will be n n plus 1 by 2 whole square and then 2 times n plus 1 and summation k square is simply n n plus 1 2 n plus 1 whole divided by 6. Now what I'll do is I'll take this n and n plus 1 whole square common and I'll also take this 2 common. So I'll write n, n plus 1 whole square by 2. So then I'm left with n plus 1. Here I'll get n by 2 and here I'll get 2 by 3 into 2n plus 1. So now I'll take LCM. So if I take LCM, I can write it as n n plus 1 by n n plus 1 whole square by 2 and here will be 6 n plus 6 plus 3 n minus 8 n minus 4 whole divided by 6 so eventually it will be n n plus 1 whole square and then uh, 9 minus 8 is simply n and then it will be n plus 2 and 6 into 12, 2 is 12. So it will be n, n plus 1 whole square, n plus 2 divided by 12. If you like the video, consider subscribing and sharing it with someone you know who might benefit from it. Also, the best way to navigate any topic is through a playlist. Simply go to the channel page, click playlist and select the topic you wish to study.